Greetings, sports fans. Malcolm Mushmouth of station KRAP-TV here with some of the glittering highlights and the unpalatable lowlifes of the first annual National Audio Video Touch Football Classic. This game was originally scheduled to be simultaneously telecast by our Canadian sister station, CRAP-TV, in Saskatchewan via Telstar. Unfortunately, when our maintenance crew attempted to patch into the satellite, after months, I might add, of splicing together 709 miles, 4 feet, 2 and a half inches of coaxial cable, especially treated to withstand the rigors of outer space, it was discovered that our video department had taken our tallest ladder on a remote because, as we later found out, they were told there'd be drinks on the house after the shoot. Since we no longer have the availability of Len Levy, and no one else is tall enough to reach, even on tippy toes, our Canadian fans will have to settle for press coverage and newsreel footage. Well now, the pre-game festivities commence Friday evening with Jane, Lynn, and Nina coordinating their talents in the design and production of banners, posters, and pom-poms. Nina has become affectionately known as the pom-pom princess. Word of the game started to spread, and God must have gotten the news, because after five consecutive rainy weekends, on Saturday, October 22nd, Old Sol smiled, and the sky poured forth sunshine and spring-like weather. Mayor Beam also got wind of the game and was so impressed that he suggested a parade in honor of the occasion. Pretty soon, the whole damn city got in on it. Yay, Navy! Now, this ship looks like an enterprising vessel, especially since this first-class aviation metalsmith looks, shall we say, somewhat spaced out. By God, there'll be a hot time in the old town tonight. Say, fellas, what about the tiller man? Doesn't he rate a beer? As one of New York's veteran firefighters so aptly put it, smoke in bed and wake up dead. Think about that, sports fans. As we approach the arena of combat, we see the contestants warming up by tossing around the pigskin as well as a little bull, and some questionable remarks and suggestions as to the parentage and gender of the opposition, including queries into the premarital virtue of female members of the families of both sides. One of the favorite expressions being, your mama. And I, for one, fans, am really amazed to hear how many mothers there are here today. They're playing this with a pig skin? Ay vey, they got the wrong studio. Periodically, folks, throughout the telecast, we expect to have guest commentators drop into our booth to give us their views on various plays and situations. Here's a familiar voice now. Good afternoon, sport fans. This is Rick Randall. It certainly is a beautiful day here. I've never seen a day like it. And there's the kickoff. And down to the boy picks it up on the 20 and combo. Oh, that's too bad. It's halftime already. And now we take you down to the present. My friends, I should like to say here that National Recording has taken upon itself the most ambitious program throughout the year and to include this sports program into their particular atmosphere here in the New York area has been most beneficial for the American people, and I thank you. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Hal Lastic. I am the coach of this team. And now, fans, let's get back to live action on the field. Let's see if we can hear what Dancing Don is saying to Happy Herd. Say, brother, you act like a gorilla. Watch out. Watch out for the gorilla. All right, now, girls, let's do it like I taught you.
Yeah, I've been number one. I gotta go number two right now. All right, you men. I want you to go out there and win one for the river. I know it sounds like a little funny, but uh, instead of winning one for the Gipper, I want you to win one for the Irver. Occasionally using a shotgun, Mike will try to eavesdrop on field conversations as they occur while the game is in progress. I'll tell you right now, I, I like to get out there and hit that son You know what the hell he did? He grabbed my ass in that huddle. Oh, I know. He grabbed mine, too. Hey, they do funny things in them huddles, I'll tell you. Oh, oh. Could we go in the huddle again? Paging Dr. Day. It's Dr. Day in the stadium. Now, here's an opportune moment to listen on the game strategy for the next play. Now, listen to this now. Artie, go down 10 steps and cut left behind the black Chevy. Filbert, you run down to my house and wait in the living room. Cosby, you go down to 3rd Street, catch the J bus. Have him open the doors at 19th Street. I'll fake it to you. Tonto, you go long. I'll throw it over the water tower. You'll catch it. So Red right! Red right! Red right! Set! Five! Eight, five! Ready! Put! 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 Oh! He dropped the f ball! He dropped the f ball! That's the spirit, guys. Kill the quarterback. Now, here's a dude with murder in his heart. Eat him up, kid. Hi, fellas. Could you throw a pass to me? Just one. I threw a couple of passes last night. Good move, Ron. No time for that Colgate smile now. That sound you hear is death swiftly approaching. You got it, brother. Run like hell. My pom-pom went poo. Hey, look at those short skirts. I know National is reputed to be a full-service studio, but Jane, really? Hey, what's she doing to him? Hey, little sweetheart. <laughs> you want to see my dirty? I'm going to take you in the bushes there. How about that? <laughs> Let's see if we can congratulate the victors in their dressing room. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I must have the wrong room. Oh, boy. Well, now that I've escaped with my life, ladies and gentlemen, as the marching bands leave the stadium and wend their way home, it's time to say good night and thank you for being here. This is Malcolm Mushmouth of station KRAP-TV. And don't forget our sister station in Canada, CRAP-TV, bidding you adieu. Thank you so much, and I hope you've enjoyed this telecast as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. So long this Dr. time, Day, until next time, for page, our whatever. This has been a low-blow production, directed by Richard Nohouse. Sound engineer, Rosemary...